today I will be doing a video on motherly. A mother and daughter try to cope after a heinous crime. I didn't know what to expect when going in. When it first starts, it seems like it might be a supernatural horror. You're going to get the most out of this if you go into it without knowing anything about it. If you know too much, it's going to get boring very quickly and you might not like it until the last 10 minutes. The first 30 minutes were the best part simply because I had no idea what was going on and it felt like I was on a journey with the characters. And during this time, I'm thinking, what the heck is going on? What is this? What happened here? And I loved that. It starts to lose its quality once the big reveal happens, and that mostly has to do with the acting from one particular character, because before this character pops up, the acting was solid, the writing also declined, and I wasn't quite on board anymore, and I didn't like where it was heading. During this time, the young girl started to become my favorite because she seemed good at outsmarting other people, and I like smart characters. She always seemed to have something up her sleeve, and it kind of elevated the movie, but not by much. Again, I didn't like where the story had led to, or more so the execution, but I was still invested because I wanted to know how this was going to end, although it did seem kind of predictable at that point. But it wasn't, thank God. A few other things start to happen, a lot of twists and turns, and the quality shoots back up. I also like the score during the credit scene, it really set the tone. I did enjoy this overall, and it was pretty unique plot, or at least the setup was, and I give this a 6.3 out of 10, and I do recommend. 